what's up? Cody here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a cook with me style video, which is something I have not done on this channel, but I really wanted to do. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to be making a type of pasta that I saw Brittany from Brittany and Baby make. Um, I will leave the recipe down in the comments below. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to make this, so here we go. Okay, guys, so obviously I'm going to start it off with the ingredients that you need for this. So first off, obviously you have to have your pasta. You can use any type of pasta that you guys like. This is my favorite one. It is the Simply Nature brand soybean spaghetti. Um, it's, I don't know, it's really good. I really like it. It tastes just like regular spaghetti, but it's got a lot less carbs and calories than regular spaghetti. So that's the first thing you'll need. Then you'll need um, the type of meat you want. I use just some canned chicken breast in there, and it tastes great. And then you'll need some tomatoes. And you can use regular minced garlic. You can use no garlic, but I use garlic salt. And then you'll need some butter. Um, obviously, you'll need water to boil the pasta in, and then some oil for your tomatoes and chicken. So, we're going to heat up the oil first. Um, I use just a pan full, and I use olive oil. Um, you can get it for pretty cheap from um, Aldi. That's my favorite place to get it. That's my favorite place that I get a lot of the stuff. That's where most of the stuff actually is from. Aldi is my favorite. So, we're going to just do that. And I never measure my stuff. I probably should, but I still don't. So, that's totally okay. So, I'm just going to rinse the tomatoes now. You can use any type of tomatoes that you guys want. Um, you can use canned tomatoes, anything like that. I use grape tomatoes most of the time for this. Just because they're my favorite and they're the easiest to clean, easiest to deal with because you don't have to cut them up. So that's my favorite part of it all. Okay, so just make sure they're really nice and clean. And then I'm also going to get my water ready to boil for my pasta. So I'm going to put my water in there. Go ahead and put my tomatoes in here. And then I'm going to get out my can opener. Mixture here. Um, my water, or my oil and tomato mixture. So they can cook. my oil starting to heat up now. Uh, Making messes over here guys. So now I'm going to add in some butter. Like I said before I don't measure so we're just going to eyeball it and add what I think I need to add to it. So And you don't have to add butter to it. Um, I just add it because it makes it really nice and creamy. And I really like, it's like a pasta sauce kind of that I'm making in a way. And I love that. I like my pasta sauces nice and creamy. So this is perfect for that. So I'm just kind of breaking the chicken up a little. Um, moving it around so everything can cook. And yeah. My butter can melt, so we'll kind of leave that on, let it do its thing, and then we're going to add some garlic powder to it. Once again, I don't measure, so we're just going to eyeball that too and just add some to it. And don't worry, it's going to get mixed around in there. I promise it's not as much as it looks like it is from there. It gets mixed around in there, so it looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot, guys. And I like garlic powder, so I'm going to add a little bit more than the typical person would. 
And then I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. So I use the um, grinders for these just because I think they taste better this way. So I just add some salt and pepper, which is my favorite seasoning. I love my pepper. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra pepper than what I add with everything else. So then we're gonna just kinda let this cook, move everything around. Let it do its thing. Let it cook the chicken really well so it's not pink anymore. And then we're going to turn it down to just low so it can cook like that. And this right now in the meantime is heating up. So we're going to kind of zoom in there. And I'm going to go throw, no, I'm not going to throw this stuff way up. So I'm going to get my pasta ready to cook. Um, I use the whole thing for this. And this usually makes like four meals for me. So I use the whole thing of pasta, one thing of tomatoes, and two things of chicken. And it usually makes four meals for me. So it's pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and put my butter up because I'm done with that at this point. Okay guys, so this part of the meal's done and this part's done. So I'm just gonna drain the noodles real quick in the sink. And I'm not gonna show you guys that because I don't wanna burn myself today. We're gonna turn that off, turn this off, and then we're just gonna mix the two together. So I always just pour the little chicken and tomato mixture in with my noodles. Some around in there. So I said this thing. I don't know what the hell it's called, guys. So if you know what it's called, let me know. You guys really can't see this. Sorry. Let me scoot it back a little. Scoot you guys down some. There we go. So the final ingredient to my meal is drum roll. Vegan cheese. So I use vegan mozzarella cheese in here. You can use regular cheese if you guys want. I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm going to use some vegan cheese <laughs> to go with my vegan butter, my coconut butter. Look at me being all healthy, guys. I'm so proud of myself. So we're just going to pour some of that in there, and this is going to melt if you mix it around right. Which with this thing, it's um, not the easiest thing to do. Hmm. Don't usually use this thing to mix it, but decided to change it up a little today. So we're going to put some more cheese in there once we've mixed that a little bit. And we're just going to use like three quarters of the bag. I like cheese. 
I've always liked cheese, even when um, I could have regular cheese. <laughs> but I really love it now that I can't. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bitter about it still. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> we are going to let that kind of melt. If I can mix it right. So, the heat um, from your noodles in your mixture will actually melt that cheese perfectly. And then I'm going to just use our little tongs, if I can get to them. So I really can't wait to have my own place, guys, because then I can put my stuff the way I want instead of it being all messy. So, use my tongs just to mix it up a little bit more. Makes it easier. This is what I usually use to mix it, so. Yeah. So that's what it ends up looking like, guys. Like I said, this makes four meals for me. Um, let me show you guys a close-up. So it looks really good. I don't know why it's not... There, it's focusing now. So that's what it looks like. So that's the final product. So that's the end of today's cook with me guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I loved making this one because I love cooking and I love trying new products. So if you guys have anything you guys would like me to make or anything you guys would like to see made, um, let me know in the comments down below or on my social media and I'll try to make it for you guys. So that's the end of today's video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Turn on post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.